You guys, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful. My goodness gracious. Hey family, welcome back to Jack's Making It Home. It is another early start for us. We're heading over to the Wahee uh, Ridge Trail. It's about a five mile hike uh, to start our day. It opens up at seven, so we're gonna try to get there somewhere around seven, just so we can get it done early. And then also, so it's on the cooler side of the day. Um, let's go ahead and get this day started. We're really excited about what we have uh, planned for today to see the other side of the island. We had to make a quick stop at this vista. It is just incredible. We're almost at the start of the hike, but we had to make a quick stop. interesting start to our hike um, yeah it's a nice little incline from the very beginning and uh, we're about to knock this out we did have to wipe our feet as you saw it's for a uh, disease and plant seeds they don't want any invasive activity on the trail so try to brush your feet and your shoes excuse me uh, before you come on the hike we go we're about four tenths of the way in um, it's been a steady incline so far a bit slippery but uh, make sure you wear sturdy shoes the views are absolutely gorgeous and uh, be prepared for the incline update about half a mile in and it has gotten a little flat for us so one step at a time. So we are about three quarters of the way in and the view from this first viewpoint is just ridiculous. I can't wait to get to the top. So story time, this hike was a little intense for Shannon. So she decided to stay in the car until the drive somewhere. And then later on, uh, she texts me saying this trail is really slippery. She texts me saying that um, she was going to try to go at her own pace, which I told her to do in the beginning. But anyway, uh, so long story short, we decided to switch phones because um, she has a bit more space on her phone. Um, but when I got to the first viewpoint, I went to go fly the drone and then I realized that, hey, I need my phone to fly the drone. So I'm going back to Shannon now to get my phone so I can fly the drone and then I'm going to hike back up again. We're only a mile in. So my partner is back. <laughs> well, he came back down. That's the only reason we're together. I was not catching him. She's telling me to go ahead. She's forcing me to go ahead. So I'm not a bad husband by leaving her. And we do have cell signal. Yes, I want him to go because I'm taking a break every 10 steps. We have cell signal and there's people on the, on the trail. I have water. I'll just call him if I need help. So we're on the move. I'm finally back where we left off, so now everything is new for me, but I'm going to give you this view one more time. I am... 1.67 miles in, but I just passed the one mile marker and we're still going uphill. This trail is incredibly slick right now, but this is a view from the other side. Update, almost two miles in for me. Um, so that should be somewhere around 1.3-ish on the trail, but we 
hit some stairs. Should make life a little easier. They didn't last long. Just got off the switchback, guys, or what I think were switchbacks. I have to take the drone up to verify, but uh, should be getting kind of close, maybe a mile to go or so. Um, don't quit. Don't quit. It'll be worth it, I promise. So we just passed the one and a half mile marker. It got flat for a while and now we're going downhill. So this will be fun coming back. Oh, it looks like we're going up that way. I'd be lying to you guys if I said it wasn't challenging. Um, I'm at 2.6 on my watch, so I should have about a half a mile to go. Taking a quick breather, but we're almost there. Like I said, don't quit, keep pushing. All right, guys, we made it to the top. I'm gonna show you the view from this one side, then we'll hop over to the other side. So proud of her guys. I don't know if you can see her. But Shannon is walking. Right over there. She's almost here. I low-key feel bad for listening to her and leaving her. But I've been checking in like literally every two minutes via text and phone call. Going back down, and I got my friend with me. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> back to the car. It's so lush out here, guys. It's a nice overcast going back, um, and a lot of it is downhill, so it's been a lot easier to go back. But uh, definitely be careful. Like I said, make sure you have your sturdy shoes and uh, be safe on the trail. But it's definitely worth it. Definitely beautiful. And I would say I found this stick and it really is helpful. So if you want to bring a stick or find a stick when you get here, it's certainly been helpful because it's a little slick. Very slick. Very slick. Guys, it's still crazy. Making our way on down. We have now come over to Eyal Valley where the walk should be a little more relaxed. Um, there was no parking inside so we had to park on the side of the street about that way. So we're walking into the park now. Um, I'm not sure how much the entrance fee is but we'll pay that and then we'll go check out the needle. We're leaving the needle right now here at Eyal Valley State Park. Um, it's a bit unfair as a comparison, but compared to what we just did, um, it's a bit underwhelming, but it's definitely a nice sight to see, especially if you aren't going on that five mile hike. Um, the process to get here is a lot easier. I would say that the parking lot is literally right down there. And then I looked on the website and they said 
130 steps. I didn't count them, but it's not a lot. Uh, once you get there, you get to a viewpoint of the needle. And one of the big selling points that uh, they have here is the river or the stream. I don't know what to call it. That's running straight down below. A lot of people do get in the water down there when it's on your warmer days. So um, if you feel led to do so, definitely be careful because um, the water, of course, is powerful. Um, but just enjoy yourself. Yeah, it does look extremely relaxing and refreshing. Some people are down there right now. So um, sounds like it could be fun. But yes, be careful. Definitely be careful, guys. Uh, on to the next stop. So we're still here at EI Valley. We had to go on to the next location, which we were supposed to do about 45 minutes ago. But uh, we're, we're not ready to leave. It's just so nice. Look at my feet. I just love it. I feel like a little human. So happy and fun. Hey guys, so we just drove over to the Olive Bean Pools. We took, I think, Highway 340. That was a little sketchy. It reminded me a lot of uh, the road to Honda. A lot of one-way lanes, uh, a lot of bridges. Really, really sketch and uh, a little dangerous. So just be careful on that. Uh, the hike or the walk down to the Olive Bean Pools wasn't too, too bad, but I just came to the viewpoint right here. I'm not going any further. Uh, the seas are rough. The rain is coming down and it's very dangerous to be here, honestly, at, down at the pools. But I did want to give you this viewpoint and I'm going to fly the drone as well. Guys, so now we have driven down to the uh, Nakalele blowhole. Again, it's too slick, too rocky. It's just still raining. So we're just not taking a chance of going down there, but you can check it out from here.